we don't have much time. I need your help to save Cat Noir and Chloe. But Chloe's going to be furious. She used to be Queen Bee. Chloe will never know it's you. Unlike her, you'll keep your identity a secret. And once the job is complete, you will return the Miraculous to me. I know you can do this. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? I have never in my over a quarter of a century on this earth hated a character to this degree and of this intensity. We like to say, oh, Thomas Asterix is a bad writer. He's not. No, 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 no. This man is a genius. He just doesn't use his powers for good because he was able to make me go from liking Chloe to making multiple videos about her. I think I've made more Chloe videos than like Marinette videos to absolutely despising this bitch's very existence. I, 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 I thought Lila was the extent to my hatred, but here comes Chloe taking that crown, which goes to show this show can accurately write detestable people which makes you wonder why i don't hate gabriel this much i really didn't like him in shot blah but like chloe is number one now like lila hasn't done anything to make me like hate her with this intensity as of recently but oh my god and i'd also like to say a big thanks in a way to all the people in the last video who didn't just come for me like there was a lot of chloe fans but they, they also said, yeah, Zoe is cute, but I still stand Chloe. Um, some people are saying, I will like Chloe simply for the fact that I am being forced to dislike her. And it's not going to work. And you know, and I can't just sit here and be like, Ugh, you're just stubborn. But I'm a pink diamond stand till the end. So I can't be a hypocrite. I can understand that loving a character, despite the show actively going out of its way to make you hate them. But this show did Chloe dirty. Damn. I, I don't I don't think I touched on it in the last episode. I think it was in the last episode. But in why well, was I gonna say Miracle Queen? In Oh yeah, I think I watched a video from I can't remember the name, I'll put it up on screen. In Miracle Queen, Chloe's mom gets transformed into somebody glittery. And I think this family just has a thing with glitter. But anyway, in the last episode, I can't, I'm blanking out. Soul Crusher, they showed Chloe was too much for her parents to handle when Zoe was being friendly with everyone. Her parents were kind of cower cowering in the back when it has been fairly established that Chloe is afraid of her mom but now they're making her seem like oh she's too big of a deal and let's also please 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 this this scene actually looks cute maybe i'll use this as a thumbnail but you expect me to believe chloe would be seen dead in this like i guess she purposed her queen bee outfit but chloe would not be seen dead in anything banana themed i get that the show is trying to say oh she's so ridiculous she wanted to take control of this but you know what i haven't even explained the premise of the episode hello everyone welcome this is my review of queen banana episode 8 of season 4 of miraculous tales of ladybug and cat noir and this episode centers around the premise that the kids in the school want to do a movie and it's gonna be premiered somewhere i don't know chloe at first scoffs at it she doesn't want to be a part of it but then she finds out that her sister half sister but sister nonetheless is in one of the lead roles there's two lead roles but she thinks no her sister is the lead lead role which is kind of analogous whatever to the whole show of miraculous where people think marinette is the leader but they're like no it's two of them but bitch we know marinette is the main focus even in the Thing you're trying to portray a lot of focus is being put on zoe and not milan's character even though their characters are equal so i guess it's kind of the show saying y'all were the ones that put too much focus on marinette which made her the leader so this is our fault i guess that, that that's what my brain is interpreting it as anyway but chloe doesn't want her sister to get any kind of attention so she goes in and uses her dad to bribe the director to make her the lead role because money sells or whatever and thomas is just existing here which 
I love and both infuriates me at the same time because I would be that person who would insert myself into my own show. But at the same damn time, really, boo-boo, you insert yourself into the show and make yourself the director of the person you clearly have. Yeah, anyway, I'm not even going to go into that. So Chloe takes over the thing and she's making it exponentially more and more difficult, ordering rewrites, ordering, hell, so long as her sister is not on screen, so long as this, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do that. And they were supposed to film everything and get it done that day and deliver it to the point that she had adrian put in a cage and hoisted up i'm telling you things just get more and more ridiculous and everyone is fed up and the only voice of reason is marinette which is like yeah no you expect me to believe alia won't say jack shit you expect me to believe this bitch won't say jack shit name name not mark not kyle what what not kyle what kim oh fuck his name is on the tip of my tongue oh my god i can't remember his name Wow. Let's start with an M. Kim, Mark, Nathaniel, uh, Ivan, um, Max. Thank you. I, I knew there was an M there somewhere. Anyway, you expect Max not to say anything. Like, Chloe has classmates who are not afraid to stand up to them. Do you think Alex would say jack shit? I mean, when she was even bringing up the idea of Queen Banana, Alex was the one who... This is also cute. Don't get me wrong. Well, in this episode, I think Chloe got better production quality. Don't forget in the last episode where they put her and Zoe side by side, Chloe's hair looked like garbage. Or maybe it's because she let her hair down. Like the characters in this show just look different with their hair down. This is also pretty. So this episode actually looks really good. I don't know. I think there are some episodes this season that people are like, it's hot garbage, but I've yet to see it. But yeah, Chloe talks about... little bitch little bitch oh my god he looks so ashy <laughs> but they got the detail on the afro though oh my god so they don't she got zoe removed so zoe's like behind the scenes she's not even in the shot chloe doesn't even understand the project she's saying oh we need cars we need this we need action we need this we need that and everybody's just getting so fed up this actually looks really good and nino is also about to burst because also aside from being a dj i guess nino is also a director which we, we he had that classification or character quality since the first season so i'm glad we're seeing some of their traits if you remember these characters they just exist throughout season three we didn't see any of alia's journal journalistic abilities qualities whatever i can't english right now and nino also they just existed to be the poc couple so I'm glad they're getting some of their original traits back. Is worth saving. Okay, now can we shoot? Hmm, we need a new bad guy, a super duper uber villain. This is just the whole show. And then Thomas was like, yeah, during production, things change all the time. It's like, yes, but not to this degree. And everyone is just listening to her because if they don't agree to her demands, she will shut down the whole project. And here's the thing. So many people were saying, oh my God, Zoe is so unrealistic. As soon as she appears, she's the main star of the movie. Can you believe it? And it's like, it's a student project. Milan is also a part of it. Yeah, but we knew Milan all along. We know nothing about Zoe. Why would they give her? Because she has artistic ability. Artistic acting abilities she said that in her last school she pretended and because she was so good at pretending she fit in with the popular crowd but now she wants to be normal but she has a thing for acting we never questioned marinette being um uh, a fashion designer and getting to design glasses for jagged stone for no reason just she just got lucky and his album cover but her getting a role which is a student play is weird don't forget in that first film um it was chloe and milen that were that were, I think the roles for acting and Alia wrote the script and you know directed the movie direct was the director or whatever and Milen has a thing for acting that's why they gave her the role because their friends are nice and Milen was terrible at it but they were still giving it to her but Zoe clearly is good at acting so Chloe I hope I didn't mix that up Zoe is good at acting Chloe already turned down to act in this so they gave Zoe who's good at it and there's no one else in the class who's willing to do it because remember Marinette was the only person willing to fill in during that time for Milen because Adrian was there and if that wasn't the reason she wouldn't want to fill in so it's not 
oh, Zoe just got the part. Then if you actually apply two of your brain cells, hell, just one of them is enough to understand, yeah, things happen in this school. They're a school of arts and whatever. So Zoe getting the part is not outside the realm of possibility. And again, it was a school project that just happened to get picked up. So people saying, oh, it's unrealistic that the movie, does this guy have a Z cut into, is his hair kind of fuzzy, kind of Afro? Anyway, people saying it's unrealistic that her movie gets to be played here. It's like, no, 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 pay attention. Look further than your Zoe hate-filled glasses. And again, Marinette being the only voice of reason is driving me asinine. It's not even a film anymore. It's just Chloe's fantasy. The old dynamite slinging gorilla. It's for the good of the film, Marinette. It's not for the good of the film. It's not even a film anymore. It's just Chloe's fantasy. The only thing we're going to do right now is get Adrian out of that cage. Then we're going to shoot the story that we all thought of together. That's for the good of the film. Ugh, oh my god. L literally. They just had... They're basically retreading the plot of... <sighs> Monsters of Love? No. The one where Milan got akumatized the first time anyway. And... It's basically that, and even in that episode, all the class were collectively saying, yeah, Chloe, eat shit, or along those lines. But in this regard, everyone is like, duh, well, oh my god, Marinette is speaking the truth, and she's the only one. And people think, oh, Chloe is the problem. But yes, let Marinette be the one to speak truth to the people, and they rally behind it. This is just a tactic in shows where not only are they making you hate chloe which we can blatantly see they're also suddenly making you love marinette because oh she's the class she's they're showing that ladybug personality that we wanted to see in marinette here which is good but i think they did that better in why do it was a zilla come to mind i was thinking night zilla N something night the one where mayor bourgeois loses the, his opponent loses the election and it was the question of whether marinette can be both Ladybug and Marinette at the same time she was like running for class president and in that one Chloe was also an antagonistic force but that episode did this much more better oh my god English and even then I can just remember plot point from season one like it's nothing but then when you when, when we go to like latter half of season two and three I just come up blank that just goes to show how even though people didn't really like season one season one was good for what it was because it did have more character building character development even though Things were more stagnant, things weren't changing. But in this regard, they're bringing out Ladybug by making everybody else literally cardboard paper. Like, they don't even... Nobody is saying, oh, it's not... Chloe is being a bitch right now. And even Mark, they had him say, oh, it's for the good of the film. This is supposed to be the smart one. He Boy's been losing brain cells since Lila was introduced, having her throw, like, tissue at him or something. And she grabbed it and he was like, you saved my life. And the fandom was like, boy, you wear glasses. That thing wouldn't have taken out your eye. So reason comes back to the reasonable through an unreasonable source. Let's be honest, Marinette is not reasonable. Chloe comes back the next day because she didn't even do a lick of filming. And she had them do all that work. And she's back the next day saying, hey, where are my things? Where is this? Where is that? They're like, um, we're done. And you'd think that something that needed to be shot in a day, Chloe, yeah, Chloe had all the power. She could be like, oh, no, we're going to premiere it another day. These kids would just be like, fine, we'll just go along with you and then do what we wanted. But they literally went through all this effort. Or they could just use Chloe's egos egoism against her saying, hey, Chloe, you look tired and you're the star of the show. Why don't you come back tomorrow and then shoot what they wanted? But regardless, this is the method that they do. They let Chloe go home. They shoot the film that they wanted to shoot. And wait. Oh yeah, the sky was still out. <laughs> oh, the sky was still out. The sky was still bright because it looked... I think they they alluded that they shot... Okay, no. Next day transition. Because if they had shot in the evening in the movie theater, the film... Oh no, they did shoot in the evening. I was like, wasn't it? Wasn't the sky bright? Well, you gotta like that little bit of continuity where they may do with what they have. And I think it added more ambiance to whatever. But they did all these graphics in a day. So basically, they let Chloe go home. Chloe comes the next day and they're like, shooting's done and chloe's like what she goes to the theater and the kids are premiering and this this scantily clad scanty ass movie theater is what this bitch was this this is the stuff of nightmares even this but this <laughs> i forgot these faces oh i remember my reaction on stream was much more funny but this scanty auditorium is what chloe was killing people over i think they say not only is this gonna premiere here but 
other places or just here i don't know and chloe just as soon as she heard her sister was a part of it she just said no but yeah they ignored her they come to the theater to watch their movie adrian is here and chloe is like what the fuck <laughs> gabriel is here for whatever reason as well and marinette is just we see the cute girl that i don't hate um basically so um, Cl um chloe was told to eat shit i like the movie in the messages that oh good versus evil we're sisters i love you even are they hinting to something happening in the end is this foreshadowing where marinette tries to speak to adrian or cat noir even though he's destruction and this is creation huh i think i just caught on to a little bit of foreshadowing because it's just the movie just it got, it got a little more significance and important than it needed which again i think is what people were screaming about oh my god how could zoe get the part but again look at this theater barely more than 10 people here if not 20 this is not her groundbreaking acting role she didn't just become the new angelina jolie calm the fuck down so oh my god this eye look too this girl is so fucking pretty anyway chloe is understandably pissed she's like what, what happened to my movie and gabriel is just like yeah sit down bitch <laughs> i think she could have used her father and said hey shut down the production but gabriel has money gabriel has shut the fuck up and sit down money so he financed the project saying hey even if you got the town to not do it i'm paying for it and it's in the park it's a public property. You can't stop them from filming. So basically, Chloe was told to eat shit in seven different languages. <laughs> My God. I was like, oh, Gabriel did a good thing. How good of him. And then it was, it was like, oh, yeah, 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 Hawkmoth. He wanted to get her angry. But I was just so happy. That was just so cathartic to just see a bitch just not get her way, even if it was Chloe. The detail. My goodness. I don't know what people are complaining about that this season is so poorly animated or poorly shot. I'm like, hello? Are we watching the same thing? Or maybe I haven't gotten to the bad episodes yet. Even her hair. Anyway, Chloe is pissed. Adrian <laughs> stops being friends with her. Oh my god. Like Chloe was just Chloe was being handed L's in this episode oh my god it's beautiful because they've characterized her this way but it's really sad with the potential she had i think i had someone in my comments tell me that chloe was going season two chloe was written by somebody else so when then thomas wasn't there so when he came back he was like oh no 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 this is how chloe is supposed to be written so i don't know if i'm pissed off at the person in season two giving chloe the potential of redemption or if i'm mad that uh, thomas took it away but if chloe was supposed to be the bully forever and always i guess i can't be sad i don't know what i feel you guys but adrian saying he will no longer be friends with her is understandable she was oh, my boy oh yes adrian gets something to say but yeah my boy he i don't see i don't think i don't see adrian doing this i he if he was gonna stop being friends with chloe i think the season three finale would have been the place to do that but regardless he cuts he's cuts his losses he's like chloe we can't be friends anymore you were really mean today you were pushing people around and i was also gonna add you put me in a cage and hung me from the sky and just left you just bailed you didn't even act and it's like you had this boy hoisted to the stars and just left okay then so the akuma comes in chloe's like yeah 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 i know this thing already you don't you, you don't gotta explain anything she gets her monkey and her car and yeah wait wh what happened here again oh yeah they all run away and <laughs> this is where people got pissed um marinette tells zoe to go hide because that's who chloe is after and zoe is obviously oh my god the freckles is what's doing it for me guys and zoe is like oh no people are gonna get hurt because of me i can't allow that and this is just so sweet i like it so she's going to go out and hand herself over to her sister and save people because she doesn't want people to get hurt on her behalf and it, that's just the virtue of a hero oh my god they planted the seed so subtly marina gets her power up they try to defeat this thing it's kind of powerful i think if it blasts you turn to a banana so zoe comes out she's like i'm here take me but spare everyone else and then chloe's like well of course i'm not gonna spare everyone else even if i take you or something like that basically kind of saying oh the villain lied oh my god <laughs> and i'm like seriously 
this show is for kids. Cat Noir accidentally cataclysms the amok and it's just oh my god did they really did they really just have to hand cat noir and l as well like chloe is still already handling all the l's we don't we don't need to share in the misery right now but he cataclysms the monkey makes everything a lot more difficult and i think that's just the way of like oh they need extra help and the banana here is so much more prettier than whatever it was on her original design. I think she even had a banana mustache. Sorry, you're getting off track. Of her ADHD brain. She the, she gets cornered and, oh, I have no other option. And now that she doesn't have to go to Master Fu, all the mirac miraculouses are in her, whatever. She can transport them, which we never really got an explanation for that. If she could just pull it out of her watch, whatever, couldn't she have done that with Master Fu? Or is it because now the box is in her possession, the box is connected to her miraculous? You know what? I'm using too much brain cells for this. So she gives Zoe the miraculous, which, oh fuck, this is beautiful, which is the beginning of the end. I think people are also pissed at Pollen because Pollen called her my queen. my queen. Oh my god. And people are like, no, she's not the queen. She's not the queen. Not queen. And I'm like, wow. Wow. People do be salty. Um, Zoe also pointed out that my sister wouldn't like this. When Lady Puck literally says, oh no, you're better than Chloe. You won't tell people that you're her. So she would never know. I'm like, that's not the problem. You literally gave her sister the miraculous. Even if Chloe never finds out, that is a dick move from you. Who propo who proposes to be the moral good of the show? You could you could have given it to anyone else. I get, and then made Cat Noir make this mistake, so it was like, oh no, she was forced to do this. You have all of the miracle box in your fucking possession. You could have given her anything except the B. This is a new level of petty. And even though I don't support it, I cannot help but commend this level of pettiness from the show. As a pettiness expert myself, game recognize game, okay? So Zoe gets the miraculous. She's really hung up about it. She gets, honestly, a very boring transformation. Again, see my live reaction for this. I I was not vibing with this transformation at all. <laughs> She's so cute. But yeah, not vibing with it. Even the texture of this, you know, like the, the superheroes costumes are kind of honeycombed shaped. But this is kind of leather. But maybe I don't know. Let me let me watch this again. <sighs> a for effort. I still stand by what I said in my video of who wore it better, which just became a Chloe versus Zoe video, which that wasn't what it was. It was who wore the outfit better. I still believe um, Chloe's transformation is the better one. I think her hair just got braided. Yep, like just between frames, which is cute. But again, she does represent more of a wasp design. I think they were trying to go so far away from Chloe that they just ended up on the opposite end of the spectrum. But then again, we do have to remember, what's his name? Aspics exists. So just like how we have Aspics and Viperion, we have Vespera? What's with the Vs? And the, the actual heroes of the Miraculous having Vs. But anyway, Vespera and Queen Bee. Vespera is the bad, not the not good design of the two. Um, a lot of people say in the angularness kind of is reminiscent of tigers or something. A lot of information across the board. I can't even get into it. But not the best look or maybe you know how they say oh subconsciously the hero decides what they look like maybe zoe was trying her best not to be get recognized and also not to step on her sister's toe because she is cute like that this is the look that got birth the only thing i like about this is the hair and the shoes everything in between can go i like this though but everything in between can go um see the honeycomb thing that's what they have on their suits but hers is kind of like leather anyway Obviously, Queen Banana is not happy with this new hero. My goodness. The poses. I love this. Um, she's not happy with... Wow, I'm just getting screen... Screen? Desktop worthy screenshots here. My goodness. See? The texture. It's off. I think it's just a new studio, but whatever. I swear, I'm not doing this on purpose. 
So um, Queen Banana is obviously pissed and Zoe tries to use words to c- catch her off guard and to like attack her and people were also pissed by what she said she, because Zoe said something along the lines of I am the real owner of the Be Miraculous, you were never there and people are like oh my god she said that it's just like when Kagami said those mean things to Marinette in Frozer like Zoe is on the same level as Kagami now and I'm like okay one Kagami is a sweetheart so shut your mouth and two Chloe is a villain here. Why don't people understand that? Why is it that Zoe's taunts is the breaking point or alleged breaking point of some people when we've seen the Cat Noir or Ladybug taunt other villains to hell and back? But it's like, oh no, Zoe said all those things to her sister. And I'm like, mm, you are literally being biased for basic. And then this cute scene happened. Just give me a second. This just started, this just fueled so many ships in this show. Like, there's a person right now that is like, this is my new ship. I don't give a damn about anything else. And I'm like, I love and appreciate the courage and bravery that you have (laughs) for shipping this ship. Because even I won't touch this with a 10-foot pole. And I, I... Again, my favorite ship is Maricat. I don't know why people think I like to push crackpot ships just because of the one time I posted Marinette and Kim. But regardless, they fuel up to come back and take on Chloe because they've managed to take out the... What is it? Um, The unmocked creature. I'm sorry, what's that thing flying in the background? Okay, no, it's just the bird. I can't remember a lot of stuff because i haven't watched it but i think the ban- the man the monkey what did the monkey do no the monkey i think just causes destruction if i remember correctly yeah the monkey was just the muscle oh no never mind the monkey also had like banana that it could throw but anyway chloe was not pulling any punches and being a bitch in this episode she held a gun to ladybug's head but that's the if she turned her into a banana she wouldn't have the miraculouses And then this shot is also... This episode was well made. I have no idea what my my thumbnail is going to be. The... She could have just taken her earrings right now. If we're being honest. Holder of the Bee Miraculous. You're not even capable of a fair fight with the new holder of the Bee Miraculous. How dare you? I'm the one and only Queen Bee. Oh, you were. But I am the real Queen Bee now. And you're only the Queen of Banana. Ladybug chose me to defend Paris because you couldn't do it. Oh my god. I don't understand why she put the it in there when she could have just aimed the gun at them. This is so stupid. Or is it that her way of recharging it? I don't know why she's asking them, give me your miraculous here. It's 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 kind of like you are you've already, you've already lost or you've turned a miraculous into a banana. Details. Details people. Anyway. She can't use her thing. I don't know why, but I like Cat Noir's <laughs> puns this season. You think Cat Noir? Can can you see like Ladybug herself taunted her saying, Oh my god, Vesperia is so good at catching the villain and nobody sees that literally Vesperia was just goading Queen Banana into shooting her so Ladybug's plan could work and not see Ladybug pour the thing. Or you wanted Queen Banana to win. I know, I know, I know. We want to clip Chloe wins, but out of all the villains that could win, I do not want it to be a queen fucking banana. Um <laughs> Also, Zoe didn't really say much. She said you couldn't you couldn't keep Paris safe, but I can. And I'm like, well, true. Chloe's first mission, if we remember, she put a train of people in danger, which again, going back to that video I referenced earlier from I think it's negative review. Those those people should have sued, if we're being honest. But Zoe's first mission went spectacularly. You could say it's a writing, but again, we have no control over that. We can only accept what is presented to us and not support the sociopathic bitch who makes everyone's life a living hell. Again, I'm a Pink Diamond stan. I like Pink Diamond despite everything the show tried to make her out to be. But in this case, the it's not the show saying, oh, she's bad. It's 
Chloe actually being bad and very aggravating. But I'm, this is not me trying to convince anyone of everything. I'm just giving my opinions. You can have yours. I don't hate you if you like Chloe. I think I really, really need to reiterate that. Because some people feel like I have betrayed them for jumping on the Zoe bandwagon. But again, bitch is cute. Oh, what did she even say here? Oh boy, you need to learn to get your You need to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she tries to give Zoe, Zoe, Chloe the thing so she doesn't get akumatized again. And she's like, yeah, fuck all of you. Which is like, you know, fair. She just found out that she got replaced. And she also just got akumatized. And everything was orchestrated to make her as angry as possible. But she kind of put herself in that situation. If she had just left the play alone, none of this would be happening. So again, it's all really Chloe's fault. So many good scenes here, you guys literally their costumes on jello maybe they're trying to show oh it's a new phase of heroes but this is just throwing me off so they're thinking okay how do we get this to her vesper is like i got it i think cat noir left at this point yeah oh my god i ship it fuck i ship it i ship it in the hero version oh my god i shouldn't be saying this on video people are gonna come for me vesper is like don't worry i got it and she's i think she basically said oh i got this thing from ladybug and chloe was like if she gave it to you then i deserve it more or something what did she say mother look she even gave me this gift if it comes from mom then i'm the one who gets to wear it give it to me oh yeah hawk Moss tried to send another akuma basically and oh they even had posters how did they get this done in time it was only a day oh yeah her name was zoe lee does she have it like asian ancestry anyway the akuma doesn't touch her because oh she got the device thingy and nothing like your stupid film i'll get my review it's nothing like your you just wait real life is nothing like your stupid film i'll get my revenge even when chloe's gear gets hair gets an upgrade this is just much better to look at like hers chloe's hair looks like a cheap wig honestly compared to this luxurious lusciousness revenge. but chloe did get an upgrade this episode but this episode was a real nightmare to get through even in reviewing it it was just a pain chloe, you okay Leave me alone all of you yeah, I guess they're trying to play up that Chloe has anger issues and that's kind of... Lila also has anger issues, so it, they basically took all the characteristics that belong to Lila and just shoved it onto Chloe. And even Adrian is still being nice to her, even though I think he said that he doesn't want to be friends anymore. I don't want to watch this thing again to confirm. Um, She's just like, leave me alone. And I'm like, oh my god, to her Adrikins? This show really is giving Chloe character assassination. So we did it. Maybe this will help Chloe become a better person. Blech. Blech. Ugh. This show, this episode was a mess, a disaster, and why are you showing me a teenager's butt? I think I've said this before. This show was every show. God, God damn it! This episode was everything. I oh my god! I guess the movie she was acting in was was kind of foreshadowing for them, their sisters. But she embodies hate and she embodies love. But people just really do not like Zoe's existence. But hey, I'm a glowy, glowy Zoe Stan, glowy, glowy. Oh my god! Now that's a terrifying amalgamation. Um, uh, I, I don't. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I honestly don't. I already know this review is like over 20 if not 30 minutes long. But I I, I do not even know how to conceptualize my feelings in regard to this episode. It's, it worked in some ways. But the ways that it works were overshadowed in the ways that it didn't. And the only thing, the only good thing was Zoe, honestly. Wait, I even think the outlines matched. Remember, Milen was the evil and Milen had like maroon-ish kind of outline and then she was good which is blue like the show is beating you over the head with that and then you could say okay do this also represent the good and evil because ladybug's outline is kind of pinkish and his is kind of bluish but then you can say oh no it's just maybe the superhero poses but imagine if that was kind of the ending marinette with all this development kind of turned out to be the evil one and then cat noir turned out to be the good one and then oh they clash hey the Be Miraculous looks more colorful here. 
I know I'm pitching a better show than probably what we're gonna get, but I have faith. This season is so far from what I've watched, it's not going downhill yet, but we've started derailing off the tracks from the good groundwork that we've gotten from the first four episodes. Furious Fool was kind of just eh. Um, Soul Crusher was kind of teetering in the eh direction, and then Queen Bee just pointed us in a in a general vicinity that is like okay what the fuck is going on but i look forward to seeing what's going coming next by the time this episode comes out gabriel aggress should be out soon so i might just wait to watch that <laughs> it's not gonna be like me waiting literal months for psycho median which is probably never gonna come out and or i could just skip and watch mega leech so Whatever you want me to do, just let me know in the comment section down below. I I, I also don't know what I'm going to do, depending if Gabriel Greg comes out very quickly or not. I might live react to it, so keep your eyes out on the channel. But that's where I'm going to end this review. I have literally said everything in my head, which is a lot, but also not. Thank you all guys so much for clicking to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And but with that being said, this is TVC. Mwah. Signing out.